Welcome everyone, Adam DeWu here. As a recording of this Saturday, August 28, 2021, I'm standing at the threshold, the cusp of the entryway down Hotel Plaza Boulevard to downtown Disney. Well, I take that back, Disney Springs. I'm tagging along for this episode. World of Micah. You still call it downtown Disney too? I do, I'm used to the, I'm used to Anaheim's version. Yeah. Across the way, right here on 535, was, and I'm using the word was because within the last day or two, a lot more establishments have closed at the former crossroads, which I have passed many times. I have shopped in there many times. I've eaten at many of the establishments, yeah. as have you. Oh yeah. You alerted me earlier and said, hey, the McDonald's and the Taco Bell have now officially gone by the wayside. Yeah. Last night I was driving past here, went to White Castle, and I noticed that as well, and, and we combined our efforts and said, let's go out here and document this for posterity. Last time, they're transforming an I-4 exit into Disney property. Now, what that means, I don't really know, because we've seen something like that happen with the Disney Springs exit off of I-4. Downtown Disney? Right, down, Disney, <laughs> downtown Disney. And so maybe what they're trying to do now is, this whole 535 Disney exit, the Buena Vista exit, is always just, a beehive of activity? Very much so. Hello. <laughs> Always room for beehives of, of activities. activities. So maybe they're making it to where you don't have to really do anything but stay on I-4 and then coast It in. will make it a lot easier with traffic. It won't be as backed up. That's it. And you were saying as we were crossing over the road, they might even put one of those archways here I going across instead of Whoa. this. This has always been a different one, you know, as far as the, all the mini entrances to Walt Disney World. There's well, usually an archway. This is the Mickey entrance, the mini entrance, Micah, right. is right over there. Right, the smaller. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get over there. I'm inviting you to join me in World of Micah. Shall you? Hail. And of course, to get to the crossroads, one must cross the road. And they still have some of the signage up there with places that have been closed for a heck of a long time. Stuff that didn't even close this week. Stuff that's been closed for months, if not longer. And check it all out. Gooding's 24-hour food and pharmacy. That hasn't been here for a heck of a long time. Sweet Tomatoes, which we have a little bit of a history. Yeah. You and I used to go to Sweet Tomatoes all the time back yeah. in the day. In fact, was it the first place that we ever went and met up and had a meal together as and became friends? That was it. It was right here. All took place here. Right here at the crossroads. Yeah. Wow. I have to walk over there and get a little nostalgia into this episode. Like a lifetime ago, too. It really does. <laughs> and over here, this McDonald's just closed. This was open not too long ago, within the last week or so. Now, as it appears, the Chevy's Fresh Mex over there. You know, I think Chevy's back in the day was called Rio Bravo, and they, they changed names. Don't quote me on that. This is not about the Chevy's nor Rio Bravo. But you see, when a McDonald's closes, you know something is happening. McDonald's don't just close. Taco Bell, which is on the other side of the property, they don't just close without a valid reason. Goodbye McDonald's at the crossroad, just outside the cusp of Disney World property. Restaurant is permanently closed. Closed, please visit the other locations. Wow. You see a lot in there? You can see all the inner workings of the drink machine. Sure can. You can see definitely the inner workings right over in there. Everything underneath the counter has been removed. You will not be able to get a beverage at this moment inside. Address up top there, 12549. 12549 here in the crossroads. Looks like something was removed from this. Would you say this is a stanchion? Would that oh, be classified that? as a stanchion, Micah? <laughs> well, I think stanchions you can remove. I don't know if this can be actually removed. I think it's a stanchion. It's a stanchion. I'm going to say... We're going with stanchion. I'm going to say that it's a stanchion. <laughs> the golden arches have been removed, that's for sure. The golden arches have been. Oh, there goes a, a tourist copter going by. And all those birds up top. Yeah, no more golden arches here on this Mickey D's. Kind of a little bit of a peek in here through the window looking up at the pick up here area and the bar stools and everything 
This building will be torn down and bulldozed. This whole site will be will be changed down the road. Ah yes, no more piping hot caffeinated beverages will be served through that drive through nor indoors. No Big Macs, no filet of fishes, nothing. Think about that. Kind of reminds me of when there was a McDonald's at Downtown Disney before it became Disney Springs that has been since removed. You used to be able to get McDonald's fries in the theme parks. Even on the West Coast at Disneyland, you could only just get the fries and then here next to Splash Mountain at Disney World, they used to have a McDonald's fry stand. And it goes without saying, these hours are, are no longer active. And you would not pay there anymore, nor pick up at those other two stations. I would even say that they probably removed the dumpster that was in here. Yep, dumpster is gone. Now there's just a ladder and some propane tanks. Dumpster's not needed for a place that's closed. Oh yeah. Where it was. You can see where the cars would sit. Oh yeah, with the oil, the oil spills there. After all these years. This has probably moved over to another store, another location. Yeah. I, can, I imagine they recycle. Golden Arches recycles. Well, there's your problem right there, Vern. <laughs> this wire's got a little oh, 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 hard in it. My daddy used to work on them things. <laughs> Just follow. Oh, there were two drive-through lines here, right there. And now there's a little. There's a. They were cones. Well, this one's coned off, but this one's not. It's a little, little McDonald's cone. Oh dang! Look over here. It says Walt Disney World right Does on the side. Really? Look at that. Wow. That's cool. That is a relic. Wow, that's pretty cool. What's, that a, what's cool. it say on top? I saw BBG, so I was thinking. So Buena, Buena Vista, Buena Vista something. Yeah. Ah. Nothing but empty parking lots and empty buildings out here now. Wow. Look at this. See, look at this. There, this is a lot of property. I'll admit, this is probably a very valuable piece of land. Used to be a grocery store over here. The Goodings, I believe, was back here. And there's the Taco Bell. I'll walk over there in a minute. Yeah, the Taco Bell closed over there. Even a work tool here as another copter goes by. Take down some of the signage and whatnot here on the property. Buffalo Wild Wings, gone. Still has the signage up for now. And even some paper signage on the doors, go over there and read what that says. Okay, back on August 19th, this states. August 19th, this location permanently closed as the recording of this is the 28th, so that was nine days ago. Yeah, it's all happened. It all happened very quickly within this last month. Now, Micah was just looking up an article and informed me that the property was a, is $198 million and falls under eminent domain. Which, that is very interesting that this is under eminent domain. Yeah. You hear that a lot with, with Walmarts right. fall under eminent right. domain. Not, not roadways. Well, I guess it could be. I guess it could be under anything. If you look up on those TV screens up there, there's just some lettering saying, "Well, it's like it's almost like a, a coding issue where it says there's nothing on the screen anymore. It's just like some text." And then over here is like a walk-up window where you used to go up, power still on, and you would get your your takeout orders if you so choose. Oh, and there's lockers down there, right down there. Look, it's like lockers under those seats. Got the sunroof up top, not much sun today. In fact, it just stopped raining shortly before I arrived here. It was a, quite a big storm. The signage. There's a fountain over here. Is that green water? It's like a slimy water. It's like Nickelodeon style. This is it. Found it. I don't know. Oh, what the heck? Jamba Juice, but I doubt it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess Jamba Juice is right here. Well, Jamba Juice has the green lettering. See? I am picking up some serious Mark Summers vibes right now. <laughs> what in the heck? That is moderately disgusting. It doesn't smell. Is that... Maybe this is all the stuff inside Jamba Juice. They are emptying it out. They're emptying out the, the fluids. 
Look at this. This is what in the heck? Major flood. Why is it green? I don't know. That's a weird green too. It's like a grayish, murkyish green. Weird. We're not taking a sip out of that. I'm not taking a sip of that either. The one and only time I ate here, I was watching a filming location of yours. Oh, you were? For sleepaway camp. Oh, no way. Yep. Right inside this firehouse subs? I was sitting there eating some tasty meat, <laughs> watching sleepaway camp. That's so cool. <laughs> some Angela Baker. That was a, that, that, that <laughs> filming location was a long time ago, so that, that shows how long ago that was. That's yep. probably six, seven years ago, at least. Oh, look. Thank you for 10 wonderful years. We made, we closed this location to make room for the I-4 Ultimate Expansion. And they, uh, they had the one over on International, yeah, by SeaWorld. 10 years, yep. the I-4 Ultimate, ultimate expansion. expansion. I like that name though, it's gonna be the Ultimate Expansion. So years from now, there will be an off-ramp right here and I-4 will be widened. That is so wild. And the hours there, no longer applicable. But what's this over here? There's a plunge it. Right down there that says plunge it. There's the open sign, no longer sign? needed. Oh, there's the big sign right there. Yeah, good. good eye. That's the sign, they've taken that down. And then kind of peeking in through the the glass, which has a lot of, a lot of haze on it because the humidity is intense out here right now. So inside there, it's kind of like, kind of humid. I think the AC is still on in there. Could be. Maybe that's why it's fogging up like this. It probably is. The AC is probably still on. The power is still on. Yeah, I see the lights on in there. But not for much longer. <laughs> the name of this place was On the Border. It had like an open air window where you could get your, your drinks, your food options. You could go in here if you were dining in as well. There was something called the Queso Club. You get free queso for a year. Once again, you got the lights on, all the power is on in here. Yeah. Pretty wild to see all this empty. Just within the last couple weeks, all this has been emptied out. Some stuff in this development closed before then, but a few things just recently closed. August was when they gave them the, the time frame to get out, August of 21. Another view in this window here as well. And kind of pulling back, you can see says closed permanently, not just one paper sign, but two, two paper signs stating they will no longer be reopening at this spot. If you go across this way, you can see the, the empty parking lot with the culprit off in the distance, I-4, almost laughing. You can hear it you can so hear, loud. You can hear <laughs> I-4 laughing over there. We hear you, I-4. Noted. This is over here at Goodings. Yeah. Oh, this is Chevy's. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So this is gonna be this is gonna be taken out soon. So Chevy's is still open. As of this very moment, there were cars over there. Might be one of the last items out here. This. It'll still still be around for a little bit longer. I wonder if those biscuits are still good in there. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> that wine's probably good. Oh, where was the red lobster? Right across the Taco Bell right there. It's right next to the Taco Bell, way tucked in the corner. Okay, we'll walk over there. We're gonna do the loop around. Oh, you can see there is still a few things. There's a place called Noodles up here. Oh, and there's a Moe's. We'll go check and see if the Moe's is open. You cannot get a one hour photo developed here anymore. Look at this sign. All kind of fault. This has been closed for a while. This did not close within the last couple weeks. This has been closed for months. Yeah, good. I have shopped in here before. It's been a while ago, but I have, have bought a few items in here over the years. Take a look at that. All the way down to the coolers and everything. Wow. Goodbye to the Goodings. This appears to be some sort of theming here when you walked in the Goodings. This is through the other the glass doors that opened. Yeah. This little like a little stage of some sort. I had kind of recollected that this was a Publix at one time before it was a Goodings. Now that I see it, it's refreshing my memory 
this was never a Publix. It was always a Goodings. I could be wrong. Now that, now that I state it, now I'm starting to rethink my thoughts. Maybe it was. It's, it was a Goodings for a heck of a long time and then it closed. Could have been a Publix. Okay, forget I said that. Might not have ever been a Publix. Almost a decorative type lighthouse item up top there. Oh, there goes another helicopter now, over the seafood and bakery signage. Now, Flipper's Pizzeria. Now, the sign is on. Okay, there are people people inside Flipper's, even though some of the signs are out off, or some of the letters are off. There's one of these over at Old Town as well. There's a Flipper's over at Old Town as well. That's the other, only other Flipper's that I know of. But this one is still open for the time being. You just looked up another fact about when all the places that are still here have until, when is that date? The end of August, so like four days. Wow. The 28th, so. So this could be the last chance to get flippers, Moe's. That's it, right? And noodles. Moe's has been closed. Oh, Moe's is closed? Yeah, the signs have been up, so I always think like how many people drive in here thinking, oh, I'm gonna go to Moe's. Okay. They drive up here and it's all closed. But noodles. Noodles is open. Noodles World Kitchen is open for just a few more days, only a few more days, and then all of this will be erased from existence. Now this is giving me some Southern California kind of flashbacks. I really like Noodles and Company. However, when I've eaten at the one out in Orange, California, it was called Noodles and Co, not Noodles World Kitchen. But this is really throwing me for a confusing loop because look over here, this says, Noodles and Company, Noodles and Co. But that says Noodles World Kitchen. My brain does not it's know how like to comprehend. Sweet tomatoes thing. Yeah, it you is. You guys have soup plantation. Yep. We had sweet tomatoes. That's true. Dang, this would have been really good. A grilled cheese and tomato soup place. Now this is not green. This is not green at all. No, it's not. This is a this is a normal this is a normal fountain. Fuddruckers here is not open. I do enjoy some some Fuddruckers. Just talked to an employee that came out of Noodles and & Company, and she was stating that today is the last official day of Noodles World Kitchen. Noodles & Company will be closing tonight. From Shark Tank, home of the grilled cheese donut. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, it was good. Uh, you, tried the, you tried a grilled cheese donut? <laughs> Shark Tank. The thing is, anyone that appears on Shark Tank, if they get picked, they think, it's happening, we're a success. We made it on Shark Tank. This was one of the first places it closed. Fast forward a little bit. Shark Tank does not a success make. It's almost kind of like American Idol. Just because you win American Idol doesn't mean you're gonna have a successful career. Right. Although, if I knew this place existed, I would have frequented it because, yeah, I am all about some grilled cheese and donut mix. Maybe there's another spot. I haven't seen another common sheet, but Abby and I used to come here on days like this, rainy days. And get yourself a little burger donut? It's good for the soul, man. Grilled cheese, <laughs> tomato soup, it's good. I was kind of wondering if this was ever red, like a big old bowl of tomato soup. Oh, you could dip the donut <laughs> down in there. I also recall a time when Fuddruckers was one of the greatest hamburger places you could find. Over time, there are so many choices for burgers you know, 10 years ago, you brought up Fuddruckers. It was the top of a lot of people's list. I don't know if it's still relevant in the world the world of, you know, top burger places. I still like Fuddruckers, but in comparison to how they were ranked, there's just so many options now. You know, I would imagine there's probably a lot of people, even as busy as this was, that had no idea that a lot of these places were even tucked away back in here. don't know if that would have altered or changed you know the plans of anything wow what was over here is this an old hotel no it was a restaurant it was really fine dining like i think surf and turf but Ooh, you, surf and turf they had to park your vehicle like valet was complimentary and the, the font choice you'll see looks similar to something you would see at uh hollywood studios mgm never ate here but it was and you know what you never will Nope. Because this place is in utter disarray. Yeah, they never reopened with the original. Even, at, even in the last year and a half? Yeah, I don't think they ever did. After all the shutdowns. Last time I was here, oh, there's another Walt Disney World. 
this boat is good for as much rain as, as happens out here. You know, it rains pretty hard, so this boat would be good, even though it's filled with sod. Well, that filled with soil, I mean. This kind of decorative design reminds me a little bit of around the backside of House of Blues at Disney Springs. Oh, look at this. There's a crab down here. There's a crab down there. Here's a limbo board of some sort. Yeah. Got a limbo board right here. I think that's supposed to signify you're not supposed to walk over there. I'm not going to go over any past there. You got that all boarded up. People have probably tried to break in over the years. And I'm really curious about the miniature golf course over there. If that's still open or not. I'm going to walk over there too. Reading the signage up on the marquee over there, it says, Aged Steaks. They had steaks that were aged. I think it was pretty good. I did never eat here. But it's right on I-4. Interstate 4, the traffic goes right by it. You can see it from the interstate. Got the palm trees. Fresh fish. Aged steaks. I-4 zipping by. And the crossroads signage still over there, as well as a Sweet Tomatoes sign. Interesting fact about Sweet Tomatoes, it has two names. Sweet Tomatoes and Soup Plantation are the same company, has closed all the locations across the U.S. There are no more. But I have frequented this Sweet Tomatoes many times, this particular one, as well as dozens of soup plantations in California before they all close. Yeah, these tourist helicopters are very prominent out here. There it is, the Crossroads signage right there. Crossroads, shopping and dining. And if you look closely, you can see the Goodings sign tucked away in there as well as the traffic down Interstate 4 goes by at a relatively quick speed. Always busy through this corridor here. Always very busy, right next to 535. And from what I can tell, because they have the dumpsters out, this miniature golf course is also no more. It is closed as well. It's official. Dang, another miniature golf course in Central Florida bites the dust. Will be very interesting to see where they, they build the new Ultimate I-4 expansion off-ramp going off here. Odds are good it could go right past where this miniature golf course was. There was a shark dangling from this rope right here for many years. The shark has been removed. There is a fin down in there though. I do see a fin. You can see a shark fin there. And there's this gentleman trying to escape from the rock formation there. Oh, and there's a pirate over there too. I think there's gators in here. Wow. This is a little depressing. For real. A piece of Central Florida tourist history through here. Sorry, Captain. As a mosquito goes by my face, I just want to mention that even though I did not play any riveting rounds of golf at this particular place, I understand the miniature golf phenomenon. I used to work at a mini golf course on Highway 192 in Kissimmee, River Adventure Golf, very similar to this one. And that one closed, that one is abandoned. And this is has the same fate as the one I used to work at, so. This was called Pirate's Cove. And if memory serves me correct, there is another one on International Drive that is still open. Probably transferred the shark over there, or Bruce has escaped. I mean, there is the fin over there, but I don't think that's Bruce's fin. I think that's Bruce's buddy. There was something right here on the shoreline. There's a couple of pirates out in the water, too. I found one of the pirates' noggins over there. Yeah. You look very closely, you can see that crossroad sign over this shoulder, right over here. With the interstate going by. And of course, Pirate's Cove through here. Dang. 
had a hope in that Pirate's Cove would survive and they would just, you know, all the restaurants would close, but Pirate's Cove would last. Alas, it didn't. Oh, there's a couple golf balls down here. Yeah, there's one right here. That could, that's a little souvenir right there. Kind of hard to see. There's also a neon when they're in the water. And right over here, there are two pink ones right there. There's a cone in front of there. And there is a sign saying, do not traverse past that building. So the closest I'm gonna go is just up to where the entrance is. But all of this will be gone very soon. There's no uh, writing on the golf ball. But, sayonara. I think the quote is, take nothing but pictures and, and leave nothing but memories. Yeah. Taking it a step further though, and throwing the golf ball in the water for posterity. Right. Dang, this is awesome. Really hope they move all this over to the other spot. Look at this anchor right here. Yeah, that's huge. The sign has been taken down. Well, he's waiting for us. Up there in the Behind foliage. The Wow, that is cool. And then right here, all the different, the distances to different areas. You've got Tokyo. Oh, there's a Pirate's Cove and Traverse City. Okay, it has all the different ones. Rapid City, Bar Harbor. Oh, there's the moon up top and the Caribbean and then LA states that LA is 2,160 miles from right here. Oh, there's a little skeleton up top there. Pretty good theming through here. A little skull and crossbones. Now I wish I would have, I wish I would have come out here and played a round of golf. Kind of, kind of bummed I didn't. Slippery when wet, matey. Guess if you still had a golf club, there's some balls back there in the water, you could still go out here and play the first hole. I'm not gonna go past that, but. Man, kinda stinks all this is gonna be gone, including that volcano up there. This might be the last time we see Captain, what do you think that captain's name is? He's got a black beard. Captain. Crossroads. Captain Crossroads. There you go. Yep. Captain Crossroads. May you find a good home on I Drive, Captain Crossroads. I Drive. <laughs> <laughs> and I putt. Miniature golf joke? Yeah, there it is. If this still works, I'm going to lose it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It says wild load. Okay. Red reloading. White loaded, okay. Should I try it? Try it. Push, push the on. cannon, and there she blows! Here we go. Oh wait, I thought the, that doesn't even push in. Oh, maybe the button was right here. Oh, that's the button. It's a button, button. Who's got the button? <laughs> Dang! <laughs> this doesn't look structurally sound. It might be. Granted, this is all gonna be gone sooner than later, but. Wow, that would be neat. Oh, there's a button right down here. Look, look at this. Eh. Didn't do anything. Nope. If it did, I would have lost it. Yeah, I would have been excited. Whoa, there appears to be another pirate in there inside this window. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna go. See you later, Pirate's Cove. Dang. No more Pirate's Cove. It's gonna be weird not seeing Pirate's Cove driving down I-4. But you can always see it when you're driving down I-4. All 
right, let's go over to Sweet Tomatoes. Man, Sweet Tomatoes. Up oh, there. Wait, look, look, look. Don't be shy over there. Come out from the foliage. Okay, you're being shy. I really do miss this place. Either soup plantation or sweet tomatoes. Gosh, I went to this place a lot on both coasts. I almost just tripped over that. I didn't pick my foot up far enough. Yeah, it was an all-you-can-eat buffet-style salad bar. Says they're now hiring. Don't let that fool you though. They're not hiring. They all closed. Used to really love the chickpeas. Get a little ranch on my salad and some chickpeas. They also had some pasta and they had baked potatoes. Sometimes you could even get slices of pizza. It was it was on the secondary salad bar. Oh man, I love some sweet tomatoes. And the first meal we ever had. That was it. Just talking about that. We met up, decided where to go to eat. And one of us said, let's go to Sweet Tomatoes. And the other, I don't know if it was me that brought the idea up or you that brought the idea up, but nonetheless, this is kind of the birth of our friendship right here. Well, I said, if they want to go do some research, the Daily Woo episode you shot that day was the Steve Martin Parenthood house. Wow. And the lady pulled up and was like, you guys buying a house? No kidding. <laughs> you have a better memory than I am when it comes to that. That was it. I remember food. Yeah. Everything else, you all bets are on. I got, the, like they the had chili. the chili in here, yeah. yeah. Dang. We also ate this at the Quinta Hills Mall. We were doing the Back, Back to the Future. Today. But over there, it was Soup Plantation. Yeah. Crazy. We've eaten a lot of meals together. Yes, we have. I don't know if I want to get too close to see if we can see <laughs> that animal running around in there. He crawled around down in there. You see the electrical box back there is open. Yeah, yeah that's as close as I want to get. <laughs> They're cute from a distance. If one scratches you though, not not pleasant. You don't no know what you do. Never, ever, ever <laughs> go to a wild batch of raccoons and do this. <laughs> we should just do Jim Varney the rest of this video. As many Jim Varney references as humanly possible. Making the way now over to Taco Bell or what was the Taco Bell. Going past this little tiki area. Yeah, and you have to abide by the signs here. You want to follow all the all the rules and whatnot. Yeah, that that dock right there looks like it's about to fall in. Totally. Kind of interesting to think that right over there, all the hustle and bustle of Interstate 4, then through here, not really a lot going on, but then even more hustle and bustle right across there on the entrance to Hotel Way and Disney, technical Disney property starts right there. That's where I started the intro a while back. You can see Mickey off there in the distance and all the hotels leading to downtown Disney, Disney Springs. And just closed very recently in the last few days, Taco Bell. Signage taken down, but you know you can always you can always tell a Taco Bell, a modern day Taco Bell, and the old school Taco. Ooh, yeah, this is you don't want to be driving around through here because look at that. There's like some nails and stuff there. I'm just gonna get rid of that in case somebody does pop a tire. Drive through, closed off. There is a note on the window. Could this have closed on the 19th as well, or was it even more recent than that? Here we go. It says, sorry, lobby is closed. Today will be the last Taco Bell will be open for this location. We hope to see you at our new location. Okay, no date on there, but very recently. Today will be the last Taco Bell will be open for this location. Kind of peeking in the foggy window there as well. Very, very hazy. The humidity makes it tough to see. To see in. All the tables have been removed. Oh no, they haven't. Some of the tables have been removed. 
But you can see some of the chairs are still in there, all the stand-up tables that were gone. And a view from the front here, 12555, the address. Wow, look at, this is a very interesting shrub here. It looks like a, a just topiary. It's like a mushroom. It's a mushroom topiary, if I'm looking at that correctly. 12555 is the address. Go up to the door and see if there's any more other information. Still a few little structures and stuff in there, but most of it has been removed. A little bit of a glare, obviously, because like I said, the humidity on the window. Whole kitchen has been completely cleaned out. Probably took all the inner workings over to a, another franchise spot. And the same signage right here on this one. Today will be the last Taco Bell will be open for this location. A lot of places will have two drive throughs this is, this is so you know the height is good. This is just to let you know if you're driving a truck or a van that's too tall or an item that's like loaded down too much, you can't go any further. This is also another protective, just to double check. That way when you go around the side, you don't destroy the awning. Cannot confirm an order anymore. And you cannot place an order because the menu board it's also gone and removed. Here at the crossroads, I know this is a lot to, to let it soak in. This is a lot to cover, but there's a lot of places that just closed. Approaching the main entry of the former Red Lobster. When I was younger, I always looked as Red Lobster as the premier seafood place. You know, as I've gotten older, I realize there's a lot of other options, but Red Lobster was very prominent in their advertising campaign. They were the first one that I recall where you'd see the shrimp and then you'd have an actor's hand take the lemon and squeeze onto the seafood. I said, I'm gonna, I wanna take a lemon and squeeze it, the juice from that onto seafood. And I still do that to this day. This says this location closed right there due to I-4 construction. There is one over on 192 Erlo Bronson Highway. Not supposed to go past this caution tape here. These fountains will most likely be removed as well. Old Red Lobster. All the signage of all these places have been removed. So unless you know the layout of the building, which is pretty easy to tell, you would not know it was a, a Red Lobster or the Taco Bell, or the McDonald's, any of the places. Even the mini golf place signage has been removed. Look at this empty parking lot. There's a lot of acres out here. I could see why someone would want this land. Except when it comes to the way, well, from what I was told about the imminent Nobane, you don't really have a choice in the matter. It's kind of it's kind of wacky how all that works. All the bugs are now starting to come out, rear their head, as dusk has approached and the sun is going down. Now, Uno over there, Pizzeria Uno, is in fact closed as well. That will probably be one of the last spots to show and document, but not before this Perkins. So just to get the layout, Perkins is there, the Red Lobster there, the Taco Bell there, and then everything else way past it, considerably, acres and acres past it, all the way down towards the back end of the property where that mini golf course is right over there. If you're not familiar with what a Perkins is, it's kind of like a Denny's. It's almost like, I don't want to say it's a step up from Denny's, but yeah, it's kind of, it's like a Denny's more or less. Different, different establishment, but very Denny's-esque, a diner style. Oh. oh, and as that sports car goes by very quickly, showing here that it says restaurant is closed and another signage, we regret to announce that this Perkins restaurant has closed. Apologize for the inconvenience. Still has the fish fry sign in the window. Oh, this still has the Perkins sign as well. One of the few out here that does still have the establishment's title listed on it. And there's the WD, WDW entrance over there. And approaching the last spot is Pizzeria Uno. Is it still called Pizzeria Uno or just Uno? Pizza, pasta, seafood, burgers, all kind of all kind of stuff here. Oh, and I'm seeing a pirate there, a Pirates Cove Adventure Golf. 
this might be the last piece of the Pirate's Cove signage. Let's walk over there and show that. Lights are still on inside the Uno. Do you know if it's still called Pizzeria Uno or is it just Uno? I think it's Uno. Just Uno? For a while it was Pizzeria Uno. Right. And they shortened it. Open late every day, but not today. Not today. The neon here says immediate seating. The, ne the neon is not on anymore. Lights are on inside, but no one's in there. Whew, it is so humid. Just to give an example, look at the sweat that is rolling off of this door here. Woo! The original Adventure Golf. That right there is a, is a, that's a relic now. And the only thing on property that says the name of the Adventure Golf place. And then over here, still has the Goodings, the 24 Hours, Buffalo, Wild Wings, Fridays, On the Border, Sweet Tomatoes. And that's gonna do it for today from the former, now it could be called the former Crossroads. Your guess is as good as mine on when all this will be bulldozed, but I would imagine sooner than later, considering the last couple spots that are here were told that today is their last day or by the end of the month, which is just right around the corner. So 1st of September, there will be nothing open here on this property of the former Crossroads. Pretty wild. It is sad, but can't stop progress. <laughs> I think I learned that from a Disney attraction. I think so too. Carousel of progress. That's progress, dear. And that's a sports car. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. <laughs> it's over. How many different episodes have you done on this this property? Three, I think. This will be your third one? Your yeah. third and last. Third and last. That's it. Yep. Came down when everything was still shut down. I was pretty much the only one kind of like this. And then I came back when they were started doing the curbside pickup stuff. And then today. So I kind of see it progress. Yeah. If you haven't checked out Micah's channel, do so. World of Micah on YouTube. It's easily searchable. Mystery uncovered. The place that's all falling apart that's been closed for a long time the neon out front is still on johnny's hideaway yeah 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 shaking yeah notched is that a martini